you spoke about water. Um, what threat do you think there is to the water supply? Because I, I think when people talk about climate change, water is uh, one of those subjects that's overlooked frequently. It's interesting. You're absolutely right. It is overlooked, and yet it's central. I think water security, the, no, the fundamental idea that there will be access to water. We've, we've worked for many years on water quality issues, assuming that, that we had water. What we had to do is work on keeping it clean and polluted. And what we're shifting to right now is the notion that there isn't actually going to be enough water. Climate change is uh, not just going to bring shortages in the sense that you know, our, ex our experience of abundance is shifting, but actually that is a, already occurring in a lot of parts of Sub-Saharan Africa and in parts of India and other locations where that water shortage is actually causing people to leave the area and not actually have a home. So, I, I agree with you, at the end, by, in the next five to ten years, or even shorter, it will become not an issue that people aren't talking about, but a central issue in almost every community. Well, how do we address um, water theft from uh, municipal water supplies by corporate entities? Uh, you see record years of drought, and yet um, these corporations are still going in and able to tap the municipal water supply basically free of charge, leaving citizens with no viable water supply. I think it's like every other aspect of the climate issue, we have to connect the dots. 99%, excuse me, 97 percent of the people in the world have no idea what you just stated as a fact, which is that many corporate entities actually step into communities and have access to complete water, clean, viable, delivered water uh, without free of charge. That, 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 that information is simply not being brought to people in a way that they can understand and act. I think the existence of shortages and the fact that people's lives are becoming impacted in a very personal way is going to make it possible for that story to land and impact people and, and actually drive them to action. Because when you are experiencing shortages yourself and you understand that you're paying for the use of water and that other aspects of our society are not, then that causes people to make up. How urgent is this? Do you think that mankind has the ability to address the problem in enough time? Because even if we stopped all fossil fuel consumption today, there would be still much more release of, of carbon into the atmosphere. Well, I'm a glass two-thirds full kind of person. <laughs> I, we are hosting a training with over 1,300 people from all 50 states and over 50 countries who have traveled at their own expense and in their own time to become passionate climate leaders. There's just no way you're going to ever convince me to come get this done. Now, I'm not a Pollyanna, and I completely understand that the impacts that are occurring every single day are significant, and they're not going to stop tomorrow because an impassioned group of leaders leave here tomorrow ready to go to work. But I can believe, and I do believe, that we can turn it around. What that will look like exactly, I'm not sure. We have all the solutions we need at hand. All we need is a collective sense of political will, and a big hunk of it is in that room. In this world we live in, where do I begin? Won't get too far if truth ain't your friend. You